Hey guys, this is Sens, and this is Quick Tips Tutorial, Episode 2, and it's just going to be on render settings in Cinema 4D and stuff. Yeah, I'm using my voice pretty much for the second time ever. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, well, if you want to, if you want me to do more tutorials with my voice, just comment below. If you want me to do them like I did with the text, just do it, I just couldn't be asked this time. Just go with the voice, the voice. Yeah, I sound like an idiot. Anyway. Let's get going. Um, yeah, just once you've got your text or whatever you want to render out, I'm just going to start by showing you what I got. It looks a bit, bit dull, a bit bland. So you, yeah, click on this box on the one on the right, and it'll come up with all this. Just I put on ambient inclusion. I can't bother with global illumination and lights and stuff. <coughs> yeah, ambient occlusion just make shadows without light so I've just boosted up the minimum ray length to maximum ray length and the contrast as you can see and look how much better it looks with all the shadows you can see in there and over there but yeah anyway on to um, the render settings on output make it 1280 720 I don't know or 1900 by 1080 whatever dimensions you want to make go on save Save it wherever. I'm just gonna save it to the desktop. Name it. Blah, blah, blah. Format PNG and tick alpha channel. And then if you haven't put anything behind the text, it'll just be a transparent background, which is good in Photoshop and stuff. Keep all this. Keep all this. Don't change anything else really. And I think that's it really. I'll just render that out. Take two seconds really, and then I'll have a look on the desktop. I'll just tell you about moving like intro settings for Cinema 4D that are quite good. Yeah, I'll just I'll just show you this now. Um here we go, transparent background you can see there. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> anyway, on to intro settings. Go back onto this box, go on to save, put it as quick time or AVI, but if you have Windows, AVI, go on to options and change it from Microsoft RLE to Intel IYUV codec and click OK and apparently that makes it a lot quicker I don't know but that's what I've done and you can change frame rate and all that and then from and to but yeah that's basically it I think I covered everything um, yeah thanks for all the subs guys I haven't actually Thanks you in person, or not in person, but properly before. And I'll see you next time. So, bye.